we've got our proposal in Design Manager. We're going to send that off to the Carters for their review. Of course, they're going to love our concept for the custom sofa. And uh, let's imagine in the near future, they're going to remit payment upon that proposal. And let's say that the Carters uh, sent a check for that deposit amount. To record it, we can simply right-click on our proposal and do New Deposit from Client, or we can just click the Cash Receipt button. Either way, it brings us to the New Cash Receipt window, which allows us just to enter in the information about the check that we've received. First off, the amount. How much did the Carters give us? Let's imagine they gave us exactly our 220350. Next, what was the method of payment? Did they give us a check, as in our case? Did they give us a big load of cash? Or did they use one of the common credit card payment methods? Now, Design Manager has partnered with Merchant Warehouse, which is one of the largest credit card processing companies in the country. And if I subscribe to that service as well, not only could I receive a Visa or MasterCard or American Express payment from, my, uh, from the Carters, but upon entering into Design Manager, I'm also automatically going out to Merchant Warehouse's secure gateway and actually processing that credit card transaction so that they can deposit the funds into my account as soon as possible. But for our example, let's just say the Carters did indeed give us our check. We'll put the check number in. Today's date is just fine for the receipt date. Notice. And all we have to do now is tell Design Manager, well, what is this check covering today? And in our case, it's simply covering our custom sofa proposal, which is already conveniently selected for us. But as you may well know, a single check could cover many different proposals and or invoices. So for example, invoice 10003 still has an unpaid balance of 115528, so the carters could obviously uh, give us a deposit and a payment on invoice on a single check. All we have to do is tell Design Manager how to allocate that amount through those various areas. But in our case, since our proposal amount matches our receipt amount, we have a difference of zero, we'll go ahead and proceed. If we did have a difference located here, Design Manager would of course alert me to that fact. Then I'd either have to change the amount at the top to the correct figure, or I'd have to change how it's allocated to my, my proposal deposits and or payments on invoices. But since we do not have a difference, we can go ahead, click OK, and Design Manager has now recorded our deposit right beneath the proposal for us. So we can see our deposit, today's date, they receive them out, and we can even see the check number. And notice also that our proposal information has increased and has updated as well. So we see that not only did we request the 220350, but we have indeed received that amount as well. Fantastic. 